everybody. Welcome. Monday night. It's 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's time for Stamping with Denise. Welcome, everybody. Hope you had a fabulous weekend. I'm going to take a minute here, pull this up on my iPad here. Um, you know, I've been playing with my setup and stuff, so I'm doing some things a little different, so bear with me. And um, I'm trying to make it better. So I consulted with my son. He had some suggestions, so we'll see if it makes any changes. The one thing I'm not seeing, let me see, I pulled this. See, I'm on my iPad now instead of my computer because I was having some issues. My computer didn't want to do it. Now I'm, I'm realizing I can't share this on my personal page. Let's see. Oh, maybe I can here. There we go. Change that and hit share. Okay, tonight we are going to talk about card designing. I'm going to make you a card, but we're going to talk a little bit about it, okay? How to do it in the process. Um, okay, I guess I don't have anything else. Not a bad Monday. Not I had a nice weekend. Um, and... Uh, I'm done with classes now till after the first of the year, so now I can concentrate on my Christmas cards. Ah, I have so many to do, but I have some great designs. You might recall that yesterday, I know this is backwards, but bear with me. Last week we made this card. Remember I showed you how to use up all those small scraps of paper of your favorite designer series paper to do this card. And someone from last week's going to win it. And you win it by sharing my video and then um, comment down below shared. And then you have a chance to get this card. So, the winner for sharing my video from last week is Melanie Jarjosa. So, Melanie, I will make sure you get this card, okay? Let me put, set this over here. I'll probably be making a few of those Christmas cards that are that style. Just because I have a lot of pieces to um, use. You know, these favorite pieces of designer series paper. Okay, so I am going to put the phone up in the holder. We're going to get started. And I've got a, something else to tell you about too. So let me... This up here, I have to turn the camera around so I'm going to use the camera on the other side so give me a second and we will get this going here okay put the phone here in the holder get my cord out of the way hopefully I might have to do this a little bit differently next time let's see yeah I think that looks good but you know, I'm not centered on the. You now I work ahead of time to get this set up, then I end up having to move it. Oh, here's. I think a part of this is I'm in there crooked. Let's see if that makes a difference. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna move this this way. Bear with me. I've got about a 10 second lag from when I move something on screen till when I can see it on mine. So, okay, good. Well, before we get started on the card, um, hold on, my dog's here. I gotta give her a treat or she won't go away. It's like she knows. Anyway, okay. The Stampin' Up! starting tomorrow, Stampin' Up! is having a giant year-end closeout. This, these are items that are retiring out of the current mini catalog, the August to December mini catalog. We have three and about quarter pages of stuff. There's about a half a page of things that are carrying over. Um, these are mostly, well, there's dies, there's stamp sets, there's embellishments, there's ribbons, there's paper, 
um, things like that. Some of this stuff is even already discounted, 30 to 50 percent. Um, some things are 20 percent, some, here's something that's 10, 50, 30. So some great deals. If there's something you wanted and you didn't um, pick it up, now would be the time to pick that up, okay? So, because they will be gone. It, I put this out on my, in my email that went out today. I also put it out in my, it's on my blog. So, you can go to one of those two places to see this list, okay? If you use this host code and your order is at least $50 before shipping and tax, I will send you an embellishment as a thank you. If your order is over $150 before shipping and tax, don't use the host code. You get your own free products, your own free supplies. So, um, you know, I appreciate you and um, appreciate your business. Okay, so let me set this out of here. We're going to talk a little bit about card designing. I tell you, I, I hear a lot from people, oh, I could never design cards. That's so hard. How do you do that? You make such cute cards. I'm not that creative. You know what? It's not about me being particularly creative or not. I, I've showed you my book before. I have done... If I see a card I like, that I like the layout, I do a sketch, okay? It's kind of a rough sketch. Um, and I jot some down, you know, some notes down. Sometimes I put um, dimensions in, like this one here I put dimensions in. Sometimes I'll put where I saw the card layout. A lot of times I will go to, to, to one of these if I'm stuck on what I want to do. So... Um, I'm going to show you some cards I made that use generally this layout, okay? But then you can always, always vary it, okay? Um, let me show you. This one here is super simple. And you can see here we've got the sentiment down here. You can see we've got a layer of DSP. I've got some ribbon here. This could be a piece of cardstock. I have, I have another card that I'll show you where it's just a strip of cardstock, and the image is up here. But you know, you, you could use this just as it is, makes great cards. Um, here's another similar example. Again, we've got the image up on top, we've got the designer series paper on the bottom, I have, there's a ribbon here. Um, Pretty much the same layout. The paper is di is different. You know, this one here it's it's shorter, and part of that is to accommodate this larger circle. But still, same basic layout. Now here, this is a very similar layout. See, it could be this way with the designer series paper, except it's oriented vertically. So we've got a strip of designer series paper. We've got a some ribbon, the sentiment, it's a couple embellishments. This layer here is run through the Subtles embossing folder. So, last one, here's another one. It's oriented a different way, but again, pretty much the same layout. If you look at it, you know, you've got the designer series paper on one half, you have something on the other half, it's divided. This one here, it uses cardstock. And instead of an image on one half and a sentiment on the bottom, it's kind of right in the middle. And I'm sure you could come up with several other layouts using this type of, or several other card designs using that type of a layout. So let me show you this one. Here's another one. Real simple. We've got a base. We have our, um, here I want to look at something, yeah, have some designer series paper, some ribbon, that could be a strip of cardstock, and we have some kind of image, okay? So let me 
show you. Uh, let's see which one do I want to show you. I've got several. None of them are. Where, hold on here. Yeah, okay, this one is kind of similar. Probably the most similar one I have. We got a strip of designer series paper. We have some ribbon tied on top of it. We have a, a punched out piece. The sentiment is down here. We have some embellishments. And this layer is embossed. Beautiful card. So let's take that to Christmas. Do almost the same layout. You know, vary the width of the paper. Put the sentiment on top. You have your little focal point here. Boom, pretty much the same layout. And here's another one. Look at this. This one, it's cardstock on top of with DSP on top of that. Then there's a strip of DSP and the sentiments on the strip. It's got this cute little apple, three-dimensional apple there as your focal point. Beautiful. Um, this was one of the cards for my Christmas class. Kind of the same thing, you know, if you look at it, you had your strip of paper. It's just oriented differently. You have your embellishment. Um, I think I did this one on a live, actually. Um, and this one, quite similar, too. It's just two layers of the, there's the cardstock, the designer series paper. We have our focal point. Little piece of ribbon to give it a little bit of interest. And finally, here's another one. Um, quite, again, kind of similar to this one. You've got a strip of designer series paper running up and down. You have a focal point. You have your sentiment. But really, it's all kind of this layout if you look at it. So, I'm going to show you one more layout. And we're going to put together a card using that layout. Okay? Um, we're going to be using this one right here. I have some card examples that are very similar. And so here's this one. It has a piece of designer series paper. I haven't really said here what this is. It could be designer series paper, that could be ribbon, that could be cardstock. I mean, you know what? I'll actually write that on the ribbon. Or DSP or cardstock. There we go. We have the image up here. We've got the sentiment down below. Look at that. Now here's one using the um, oh, what is this? Get the, I just had this in my head. Very similar, except we've used w wider strip of paper. Actually, we have, there's two strips of paper. There's a piece of, of cardstock. We've got this fun image here, this unicorn. We've got a ribbon on there. Sentiments down below for a few butterflies to kind of zhuzh it up. But it's still basically the same layout. Here's one that is very similar, just doesn't have that strip behind it. This piece is embossed, got the sentiment at the bottom, and our image up at the top. Here's a Christmas card. The background's embossed. You know, that could be designer series paper, you know, like in, on this one. But we've got the image up top, sentiment down at the bottom and rather than putting ribbon around there's a little cute little bow I love those owls here's a variation on that also using the gnome set I've got an image up here I've got a sentiment at the bottom but instead of separating them I've kind of made them one piece by mounting them together on this um, great designer series paper and the mat okay I love this little gnome set. I think that's one that I am going to keep, okay? So we are going to use this layout. I'm gonna leave this here for reference because that's probably the one that's closest to the, the um, my drawing. And we're going to use, like I said, gnome for the holidays. I love this cute, cute little set. Um, such, and I'm not 
don't even know person, but I kind of it kind of grew on me. At first, I didn't think I wanted it, but then it grew on me. So we're going to do a card using our gnomes. Okay, and you know what? I don't have my exact measurements written down, but I will make sure that I post them. Okay, this is a piece of cherry cobbler. And this is eight and a half by five and a half. So it's just half of a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, okay? And that's our base. Um, then I have a piece of shaded spruce. That's gonna be my mat. And a piece of designer series paper that goes on top. And this is out of the designer series pack, Tis the Season. Again, great, great Christmas designs. Be a good time to stock up for next year. Before I go any further, I want to go back to this. This has got a big old hole in it. What's that about? Well, I'm going to use this as part of my focal image. So I just cut it out of there. Then I don't have to get another piece of cardstock. It's no big deal. It's going to be sandwiched here. Nobody's going to see it, so why not? So let's, I'm going to start out, I'm going to go ahead and put this together. And I'm going to start this. Oops, let me get my, oops, I kind of jammed up my, ah. Hang on. It's just not making me happy here. What did I do? I got all bunched up. I've not had this happen before. Okay, well, you know what? I'll play with that later. We are going to go with glue then. Since my handy dandy Tombow glue. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of that right there. And not planned to, but that's okay. And. That right on there. Okay. Piece of de the designer series. So this layer, this this um, shaded spruce layer, is five and a quarter by four. So this piece of designer series paper is five by three and three quarters, right? Yeah, three and three quarters. That's it that right on there. And, the, and like I said, my base was cherry cobbler. Okay. There's that. Very good. There's my base is ready to get started. Oh! And you know what? I did not cut this down. I should have measured this and put this on. Rather than using a piece of designer series paper like we did here, I was going to use a piece of cardstock. And I'm going to double check this measurement and I am going to cut this real quick. Yep, that is four inches. So I will, luckily, my handy dandy trimmer. But you know what? I've got my little guillotine cutter right here. I'll use that. That's smaller. A lot of times, what I'll do is I'll cut a piece a little larger and then I'll trim it off. But you have to do that before you adhere it to the card base. <sighs> You know, you get going, not paying any attention, and boom. Okay, so four inches. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to dry fit, make sure it fits right. I'm going to put this straight dead center. So a little bit of Tombow. Oh, I am. Is everybody ready for Christmas as you're shopping? Then I'm not. I haven't done any more. Well, no, I have done some. I still have a little bit more to do, and my husband's impossible. He hasn't told me what he wants. I, I don't know. So I just don't know. Okay. So now we're going to stamp. I, I was cut out for lives I always cut out extra pieces for stamping in case I mess it up but I just realized I didn't cut any extra of that little piece so 
hope we're going to keep our fingers crossed. This little piece is for the sentiment, and that looks like that's one inch by one and three quarter. And then the um, shaded spruce that it's going to be on is one and a quarter by two. So you'll see how they fit right there. Okay, so this says Holly Jolly Everything. Let me stamp, make sure I'm good. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And you know, while we're stamping, we're going to stamp our little gnome too. And he's going to go right on there. Hopefully, we'll get him right where we need him. Hope. Try not to put my head in the camera. Generally, I would stamp him and then cut him out. But I try not to drag my um, stamp and cut and emboss machine over on camera because it's kind of big, it's kind of clunky, and it's kind of hard to see, frankly. Okay, so we're going to put this little piece together here. Set that out of the way a little bit. Put a couple of those on there, and then we'll be ready to go when we're ready with that. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead. Here's that circle or the oval out of that I cut out of the shaded spruce base. It's going to go right on this gold piece, and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Then it can be drying while I'm coloring on my. Um, no. Okay. I just think this is going to make him pop on that. On that bait. Look at that. Yes. Okay, let me get a piece of scrap paper here. Whenever I use my blends, I like to have something underneath because they, they will bleed through, especially if you're heavy with it. So, and I know it's my black mat, but that's okay. Um, so as we go through here, I'm going to use the Light So Saffron for the little bell up here. There we go. Um, his hat is going to be the Light Real Red. Now you know you have to be really careful with these, these paintbrush and you hardly need to touch it to get Oh shoot, I went a little bit out. I think I can fix that. I'll try to here. I enjoy coloring, but I don't like to color in a hurry. There we go. Let me see, I've got this um, color lifter. Let's see if I can get that edge up get that up there without smearing. There we go. Bingo. Yay! That worked. Okay, and let's see. I think we're going to make his shoes down here. They're going to be red to match his hat. And these will bleed, so you, you use a light touch. You can always go back. can't always clean up when you go out of the line. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Okay, so let's see. For his face and his hands, I have our ivory stampin' uh, blend. And I don't know if you can see, we got little, his little eyes are right under that hat. And then we'll do his nose. And his hands. I think that 
puts everything on that. Now we have his clothes, which you can't see much of because of his beard. It probably would be easier if I had done his beard first, but it's okay. There's, I know that this is green right there. You like to color? I do. Let me show you. I've got a piece of. One day I, would, I just wanted to color. I needed to just do something that wasn't um, didn't require any thinking. And this is the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. It's white with gold, the gold flowers. I sat and I colored that in. And I'm going to make that into a uh, card at some point. But it was so relaxing to color it. And I'm just kind of filing it away, and I'll be using it at some point for a card. So, and then the final bit of coloring on him. And the way I the way I think about it is good. This is his beard, and this is the light smoky slate. So I figure if I'm coloring at least, you know, some of the designer series paper, it's something I can use later in a card. So. Use my point here, the fine brush end for down here. And then I think I'm going to use the bigger end. I try to use the bigger end whenever I can. I'm trying to keep this on the light side. You know, I could go over it again to get a little darker, but I don't want it too dark. I want it to overwhelm me. Oops. Just a little bit right there. There we go. And Mr. Gnome is done. Yay! I'm going to attach him here. With a little bit of glue. Let's do curl a little. Watch that. Make sure that that, stick, that, that glue sticks to that foil. Kind of wondered about that. Okay. I may have to use glue dots. We'll see. So let me get it some. Where'd my uh, dimensionals go? Let's put some dimensionals on the back. So I think what I'm going to do is put him, he, I know he's a little above half, but I still like that band, that strip of the green, and I'm going to put that right on there. I think that's perfect. And he's really not hard. You know, you could stamp a bunch of the, of the gnomes and then sit down and do some coloring while you're watching your favorite Christmas movies. I'm not a, I'm not so much of a, Hallmark Channel Christmas movie, but there are a few that I like to catch every year. So hold on here. One more dimension. So, if you like the, what you've seen tonight in our discussion about how to use sketches to design cards, I'd love it if you'd share my video. And if you share, you Please comment, share down below so that I know you shared. Because if we're not Facebook friends, I can't always see. And you just might win this card. I just might be sending you this card next week. So everybody, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Um, for joining me with Stamping with Denise. Don't forget about the giant year-end closeout. Use the host code 4MW62FQV. And if your order is over $50 before shipping and tax, I will send you a free embellishment. Okay? If you have any questions about the sale or placing an order or anything, please let me know. I'd love to help you out. So thank you so much. And I will see you next Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern for Stamping with Denise. Bye now.